These recruits have successfully met the standards and ha have overcome numerous challenges. I commend each of you on your performance and discipline throughout the instruction. I wish you good luck and may you help bring peace to Afghanistan. 45 ANP have completed the basic level course offered through JSAS and will soon join roughly 1,500 graduates since the organization's inception in 2009. However, it also marks a graduation of sorts for the JSAS curriculum and the Academy's overall mindset. Our focus is shifting less so on the actual students and more so on the Afghan trainers. In fact, this is the last basic level course offered by JSAS. It's good. We can do it right now, in my opinion, because we have enough ANA and we have good people. Also, the Marines have trained a lot of ANA. From now forward, about a third of the Academy's coursework will train trainers like Asadullah. The rest will be on things that will benefit them outside their military careers. So we're working classes on explosives handling reduction, generator repair, mechanics courses. Literacy is one of our largest uh, courses we try to teach and it's probably one of the most enjoyable from the Afghan perspective. In total, they offer 11 different courses to the Afghans something Asadullah hopes others will seek out. I would like other people in my country and for young people to join the ANA and bring us more security. The security he wants will eventually rest on his teaching and that of the other future trainers. Because we're trying to wean out uh, the U.S. and the coalition uh, instructors and bring in uh, the Afghan instructors and ultimately this Joint Sustainment Academy we will turn over to the Afghans I and mean, that's the long-term goal. That target is set for December of 2014 and perhaps there are a few future instructors among these proud graduates. From Camp Leatherneck Afghanistan I'm Sergeant Andrew Milner.